Every podcaster's goal is to tell a great story, not spend hours editing it. By creating a simple cheat sheet of edits, we're speeding up the podcast workflow so they can focus more on the storytelling goals. Hello, and welcome to the Podball Mini Podcast. I'm your host and product manager, Karen Swizek. Today, I'm joined by designers Solmus Baybordi and developers Marshall McDougall and Julia Seidman. I started a podcast because I wanted to connect with others through a different medium other than my blog and learn about the entrepreneur's journey. Podcasts are a popular storytelling medium with a low barrier to entry. According to podcasthosting.org, as of February 2021, there were over 1.7 million podcasts and over 43 million episodes. But despite podcasts being an accessible medium, the production process can be really time consuming, with editing being the most time consuming part. And now one of our developers, Marshall, will share how we've made the editing process more efficient. Hey, Marshall, welcome to the podcast. Thanks for having me. So as you know, we've been working on Podball for the past five weeks, and now we're ready to show you the MVP. So this is Podball. In four simple steps of uploading a file, selecting what to analyze, adding in your custom custom words and analyzing podcasters will receive a list of filler words within the browser with corresponding time codes to speed up the editing process lastly if desired they can download the cheat sheet as a csv wow those timestamps are a game changer instead of going through the entire audio and now we'd like to share what we've learned from our experience at colab I learned how to get over my imposter syndrome. Colab helped me realize that because of my past experience, plus collaboration and conveying a clear vision, I have what it takes to thrive in the industry. I learned the importance of being adaptable. I feel like our success as a team was made possible not only by good communication, but our ability to adapt to limitations and feasibility issues and not get discouraged. My biggest lesson learned was focusing on the highest impact feature first. Uh, there were some challenges with the speech to text feature so prioritizing this was really crucial in making sure the mvp was able to demonstrate the value that we intended i gained a lot of confidence in my ability to tackle problems outside my comfort zone i feel much more at ease researching and deploying new tools and i learned that being more open about technical and personal limitations can help you get more done Thanks team, thanks to our project mentor Elise, and thanks everyone for tuning into our podcast.